Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. This is a quickie coloring tutorial on how I colored a snow globe. <clears throat> now, this is from Christmas Vibes Adult Coloring Book. And this is what I've done so far in my normal broadcast, which is Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick every night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. <clears throat> so the idea on this broadcast here is to give you a quick um, demonstration on how to do this. And if you have any questions or comments, you can get in touch with me. So I've also got people coming into the room here while I'm doing this because I'll be uploading this to YouTube. Hi, Ash. Welcome, welcome. All right, so this is a shorter version of what I did yesterday, last night. And what I'm going to do, so again, this is the piece that I did here. And I'm going to show you now how to add these um, extras and to do the coloring. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is find my little spongies because I absolutely love those. These are my three inch spongies. They're on the affiliate list. Highly, highly recommended. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, uh, this is a sprayed piece with my Krylon Fix Tiff. And I'm going to go ahead and add my outer edge. Now, I'm just going to be doing the inside of <clears throat> the left-hand side. And that way it'll save some time because this is just the globe part that I want to show you. So what you want to do is just go ahead and start putting your eyeshadow. Now, you can use eyeshadow. You can use um, chalk, pastel. Either one is okay. If you wanted to, you could use gelatos. Totally up to you. I may just go ahead and just completely go around this little puppy just so that you can get a good feel for it. And look how pretty that looks like this. See? Now this white area here is going to be my shine line. And that's the area that just has the reflection. It's the reflection here. Now, I'm not going to color the rest of the sky. I'm not going to color the trees. This is just to show you how to color the um, outside of the globe. And also, I'm going to show you how to drip icicles off the top. Now, if you want to see this in more detail, and then just uh, attend my broadcast tomorrow night. Well, tonight, because it's 1.30 a.m. on Thursday, 11.11. But attend that broadcast and you'll be able to see all the details. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil now. You can pick your own color. This happens to be my Arteza Expert Ultramarine Blue. And this is going to be important that we have this darker outline. I'll show you why in a moment. Zoom in. Let's go ahead and get a decent view here while you're, we're going. Now, one of the things that we're all stuck with <clears throat> with coloring books is that we've got these black lines. And so I like to do my best to get rid of them. So what I'm doing and what I did is I took my blue pencil and I went right over that black line. Zoom in.
And what that'll do is that's going to obliterate my black line pretty much. And that way you'll have a better looking glow because instead of seeing this dumb black line, you're going to be seeing the edges of the glass. <clears throat> Now again, I'm doing this relatively quickly so that we don't have a super long broadcast. You can always take your sponge applicator and smooth that out. That's always a good thing to do. And you can already see now how we're getting this depth and dimension because we're getting rid of that stupid <coughs> black line. All right, now I'm going to clean up a little bit here on my outside. You'll see why in a minute. If you follow my nightly broadcast, then you know that I like to keep my piece as tidy as possible. But don't be stupid about it, you know? I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take my Arteza pen, my gel pen. This is the 1.0 size. I love, love, love this pen. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of more black line. <clears throat> Zoom in. Zoom in. Uh, Zoom in. There we go. It works eventually. So I'm gonna. I got rid of that line. Actually, I think it was a part of the leaf, but that's okay. It was weird, so I just decided to get rid of it. And. I went all the way around my globe with my white gel pen. Now, there's a certain touch that you need to develop with your pens. I barely feel the paper underneath the tip of this pen. I'm just touching this enough, it pulls out the ink. In other words, I'm not scraping the tip, the tip of the pen on the paper in order to get the ink out. So, <clears throat> if that helps you not have streaks, that's great. So I'm just going to work my way around here. And by the way, this quickie coloring tutorial will be launched on YouTube as well for tonight. Um, I'm doing them um, about every other day, roughly. It just depends. And if I have a technique that I want that I want you to see. A specific technique, this is what I'll do, and I'll show you this. So this broadcast right now, which actually happens to be live in Facebook, is um, a shortened version of what I normally broadcast from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay. Zoom out. Zoom out. And hello to Cherry Francis. Hi, Cherry. Welcome to my group. So what you, what I want you to notice right now here is I'm making this black line go away.
and I'm making this globe look more like a globe. Now, if you want to stop at this point with it looking this way, <clears throat> have at it. That's up to you. Let me dab in a couple of spots. But what I did in um, teaching adult coloring with Eileen Vick at 7 p.m. Central is I went ahead and I used a lighter blue, a turquoise, a very light turquoise blue. Excuse my sleeve here. And I went ahead and I just very lightly colored over my Arteza pen line. Just to make a little bit of a of a shade, a halo. get this up to the point here up in the top. Again, I'm not going around the entire thing because that's not the purpose of this broadcast right now. It's just to give you, um, it's a quickie coloring tutorial on a specific uh, technique. So again, that's optional whether you want to add that, tur that lighter turquoise blue, but because of the gel pen I thought it looked a little better. I love my Arteza pens. <clears throat> Alright, zoom out. Zoom out. Now this is what I did during the broadcast. This is what I'm doing now to show you how I got this globe going. Okay, so all you have to do then is continue this all the way around your globe. And you'll have a really cool looking piece. Let me grab my eraser here. Again, that's me. I like to keep things neat. Okay? So this is pretty straightforward. Now, zoom in. The thing I want you to pick up on here is I've done two things. Zoom in. Zoom in. I got rid of this inner double line by coloring the blue over it. In other words, it went from black to blue because I want this to look more like glass and not drawn glass. <clears throat> and what you need to do is to blend it in so that it looks natural. You don't want a dark line on the outside, a super dark line. And then light blue going inward on the globe. It's got to be a natural progression so that it looks like it is um, supposed to be there. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? Now, if you don't want it as dark as this, don't make it uh, these other this other blue. You can adjust the tone of it. There's nothing fancy to doing this. Nothing complicated. Zoom out. And if you don't have, um, I usually use, well, let me backtrack on that. I've used uh, Faber-Castell chalks. And today for this light, lighter blue on the outside, I'm just using simple eyeshadow that I bought actually several years ago. So it's still going strong. All right. So there's how you do the, that. Then the second thing that I wanted to show you, zoom in is I want to show you how to add little icicles 
at the top on this leaded snow. Now, this is ridiculously simple. I don't want anybody having heart attacks over drawing, which some of you do, but you don't have to. It really is unnecessary to do that, so I'll show you how to do that. No worries. So what you want to do is you want to take a pencil. I like to use a mechanical pencil. Zoom out. Zoom out. I like to use a mechanical pencil, but having said that, you've got to draw your line very, very lightly because if you get too dark with it, you're going to make an indentation in the paper, and then when you go to color, that indentation is going to show up. So you've got to barely, barely <coughs> touch the paper. Zoom in. So I'm going to work left to right because I'm right-handed. And again, this is what I'm showing you is how to add these little icicles on here. Okay? Which I think, if you don't mind me saying, I think they're pretty darn cute. <laughs> All right. Zoom in. So let's go ahead and add the first one. And you just make a little wiggly line. Oops. And then you make another little wiggly line here. And you've got an icicle. Now stick with me because I'm one more step to that. So let's go ahead. We're making, think of it as a, an elongated V. Okay. Let's see if that helps you. Zoom in. We'll get you nice and close so you can see. Just play with it, play with the shape. And then I'm going to dangle one off the bottom of the T. Another way to look at it is think of it as looking like a carrot. Oops, that one is coming in too far. That's not going to work. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you do pencil. <laughs> so we have a slight line inward. And we have another slight line inward. And we'll bring that little puppy down there. Now, I notice that I tend to go off to the right a little bit. which I did again. Let's try this for a third time. <laughs> oh my, one of those evenings. There we go, much better. So there's that dangly. And then I'm going to draw another one. Off at the top. Again, guys, think of it like a, a rough carrot, okay? And let me know if that helps you. And then we're going to do another one here. And let's see, let's go to the top of the S. And do I'm gonna go do the right hand side first maybe that'll keep me from going to the right so we've just got a little small ice here and then we'll go ahead and do one at the bot at the O And then I'm going to do a last one. Uh, 
off the W. That one had a while to grow. See, look at that. Isn't that cool? Zoom out. Zoom out. Doesn't that look cool, guys? Now, for those of you that follow me on a regular basis, you know that I love my pens. I use different size pens. Depending on the line weight of whatever I'm working on. So, I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I'll use my narrowest pen. Now, I'm also going to take my little gummy eraser here. This is that little stretchy thing that you play with when you get bored. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and lighten up my pencil just a little bit. So, in other words, I can still see it, but... I don't want it quite as pronounced as I got it. Sometimes I don't have to do this. Sometimes I do. Just depends. We're down there. And this is my 0 0.28 millimeter pen. It's by Uniball Signo. You can buy it on Amazon. Available also through our affiliate list, which helps our group. All right, so let's ink this little puppy up. Zoom in. Zoom in. Now, this is where you can change your piece if you don't quite like how you had it on pencil. Isn't that cool? Not too shabby. So there's the bottom of the T. Now I got you in close for a reason for you new, new people that are watching this. That's my teaching style. I want you to see stuff when I'm doing it. And then I'm going to do it off the top here. We got the spot here. And then we're going to go off the S. Now, you don't need a lot of drawing skill to do this. But if you've never done before it, you're probably done it before, you're probably going to screw it up. No big deal. That's what happens when you've never <clears throat> done anything like this before. So, I don't want you trying this and then saying, oh, can't do it. It was a mess. Da 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 da. Yeah. That's why you practice. Okay? Almost done. Oh, look how cool. Zoom out. Zoom out. Come on. Zoom out. Zoom out. Look at that. Does that not look cool? <clears throat> Zoom in. Easy, easy peasy. Okay. Now, after your ink is dried, hopefully it's dried while I've been yakking at you, is you want to take your <coughs> gummy eraser 
and you want to go over your areas now. Look how look at how neat that looks now. That pencil's gone. Isn't that cool? And guys, I promise you this is not hard. You should know me by now that I'm not going to show you something that I don't think you can do, right? I would never do that. I have a master's degree in adult education, so <laughs> I know a thing or two about this. Now, I'm going to show you guys something that you that my group hasn't seen yet. Zoom out. Is tomorrow or today, later today at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be adding snow on the top of this. So that's really simple as well. And I don't like that at all. That's why we do pencil. Zoom in. So what I'm going to be doing is drawing on some snow. Now this line, you don't want to be as wiggly as you were with your icicle. That's what my problem was there. And I'm just going to go ahead and dabble on some snow here. Isn't that cool? Now, don't forget when you've got these little roundies in the bottom here. Let's go ahead and put a little snow in there. Smooth that out a little bit. And then we can put in some tenacious snow that hung on to the eye here. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, you can laugh. And we'll put a little snow, maybe a little more peak here as snow. So my group hasn't seen this yet, so I'll be doing this tomorrow. And we'll get a little cap of snow right there. Okay. I think we're pretty good. I think this is ridiculously cute. Now, it looks a little wonky. I've got double lines here while I'm shaping my snow. But remember, I'm going to be going over that with a pen, right? Okay. So let me do that real quick here for you guys. That's pretty cool. You're seeing something nobody else in my group has seen. So we'll go ahead and put that snow in there. There you go. Oops, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Got a little more here down here. Now, it looks wonky right now because I've got that pencil behind it. Remember, when you go to erase that and that pencil's taken out of there, this is where it's going to look really terrific. 
Hopefully my ink has dried enough. Yes. And then what I would do, boy, you guys are really getting a special treat. Oops. As I cover this up. Then what I would do is go ahead and use, um, I'll still use my Norris Blue, which is what I used in my globe. And I would color just a hint of blue on the snow. See that? So I'm just going to tap that blue on there. Not much. And then that's going to look really cool all the way across. All right, zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. So there you go. There you have it. Showed you how to color the area around the globe. Notice that black line has disappeared. I added another little shaded area right here of lighter blue on the outside. And then I went ahead and I put in some squiggles to make it look like I've got icicles and a little bit of snow on the top. So guys, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this quickie coloring tutorial from Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. And if you want to see the full program of other stuff that I do, join me. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time every night, 365 days of the year. All right, guys, I'm going to call it. I hope you learned something, and I hope you had fun. Take care now. Blessings. And I will see you when I see you. Take care, guys. Bye.